Hey guys, I just wanted to have a quick chat to you today about power meter apps for your phone. In particular, the PPFD meter app and the Photon app. And the reason why I'd like to have a chat about them is really just to highlight how inaccurate a lot of the sensors are. Be that whether it's using a Uni-T paired with your iPhone, whether it's an Android, whether it's using your front-facing camera with a diffuser, and that is because there are a vast array of lights available today. None of these, they're very old. <laughs> but with new lights, with higher amounts of red for efficacy, with spectrum tuning, there are huge inaccuracies, which is causing a lot of bother because people think they're being hard done by and their lights aren't performing as they should. So to give you a very quick example, which I will elaborate on in a further length video, this is a PPFD chart based on our Array 150 in a two by two group space. So if you have a look at this, very even coverage, and it's outputting a total of 974 PPFD across a two by two space, or whether that's micromoles per meter squared, that's 350.7. That is using the spot on, which we know is very accurate and a very good baseline. I've done loads more tests all across the different apps using iPhone, Android, and much more. And as you can see, depending what you're using, using the standard settings, some are as much as 59% inaccurate compared to the base reading on the spot on. Uh, even the Apogee was 3% off what the spot on read. So yeah, really just want to see what you guys think. If you've had the same experience, whether friends have, whether you've seen posts about it, we would love to hear. And I will be doing a further video going into a lot more detail on this very soon. So keep your eyes tuned, and if you have any comments, drop them below and we'll get back to you.